Hello and thanks for taking a look at Maximo Anywhere, specifically the work execution application. I'm your host Chris Winston here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, we'll be exhibiting this at the Pulse Conference, booth E516 in Las Vegas, February 24th through 26th. So if you're there, feel free to stop by. Otherwise, uh, please go to the website, freemaximalanywhere.com. You can sign up for your own free trial and, of course, uh, do the work on your own Android device. Today we're going to cover just a couple of scenarios, creating a work order and creating a follow-up work order. And without further ado, let's just say we will log in. You're making rounds. You notice uh, there's a pump nearby that looks like it might be leaking at the seal. You want to have it checked out. Don't want to shut anything down right now. It's not critical. So we'll go ahead and create a work order. And we'll give it a description. To be. And we'll give it an asset, and we happen to know the asset number, but let's say we want to search for it, and we could use something like pump, and it's at 450, so that's our 11450. Brings in, of course, the location as well. If there are other details that you want, for example, give it a priority. Work type, and it's going to be a corrective. And there are other details as well, but they are primarily driven around your actuals if you need to actually start uh, filing this information right away. Similar to what you would see on the equivalent of quick reporting, even though this is mainly built around work order tracking. So I'm going to go ahead and create that work order. And let's go ahead and make sure Maximo knows about it, so we have synchronized our data. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, let's go on into Maximo and take a look. So, asset 11450. Let's see what we have out there. And here is our work order. Looks like it's work order number 1423. Information we entered appears to be here. Picked up our priority, the description, asset number, work type number of defaults that came along with it and report it by me. Essentially the same as if you had entered it directly in Maximo. Back to the device, we take a look work orders created locally, we can see it's still there as well. It needs to be approved of course for actuals to be reported but you get the idea. Let's go on back to our list of work orders lead and let's say I've uh, in the process of working on this return pump quarterly service and as I examine the workspace I notice that the pump pad appears to be damaged like I was hit by a fork truck so no I'm not going to work on that I want to go ahead and create a follow-up work order now you notice with the follow-up work order, all the other information comes directly across. Description comes as well, and of course we want to go ahead and change that. So we'll take out the old description, put in a new. details that we need to add into this as well. Now we can give it a priority also. Work type, corrective maintenance. And again, we have the rest uh, mainly driven around actuals. We're going to put in a work log entry for as well. Uh, but again, you get the idea. I'll go ahead and create it. And let's go back to the main list over here in Maximo and looks like we've already got our work order number in this case 1424 which should have been the next work order so let's pop back over into Maximo and we'll just go ahead and take a look
a look at that work order. And among other things you would notice, because this is now a follow-up work order, as we have other information available to us, we can see the originating work order number, 1377. And as we go to the related records tab, work order tracking, we see it here as well. So again, essentially just like you had done it in Maximo because Maximo Anywhere is Maximo. Uh, thanks very much and look forward to covering this again on another topic. Have a good day.